Hey everyone, it's Chad Kemp, your Alabama land agent. We have 80 acres that borders 3,000 acres of the Talladega National Forest. It has a well, it has power, and if you'll stay to the end of the video, I'm gonna really show you something unique that an adjoining property owner that I had sold years ago did with his, and it has to do with a pond. Stay tuned and enjoy the video. Hurricane Mountain, Woodland Hills, 80 acres, Jacksonville, Alabama. This property is just northeast of Jacksonville State University off Highway 21. It borders 3,000 acres of the Talladega National Forest. In this direction, you have Jacksonville, Alabama, and then you look over this beautiful valley towards Chocolaca Wildlife Management Area. And then behind this hill or this mountain there is Piedmont, Alabama. Now, hopefully you live in one of the nearby cities because this gives you a really good idea how far away this property is. You have a really nice four lane road that takes you to where you turn off on Maple Lane. But be sure to like and share and subscribe. We're always posting videos and hopefully you're a buyer looking for a property like this or know someone. There's plenty of things to do here in Jacksonville. Um, you can bike, you can kayak, you can also shop too. You might want to treat this as a, a recreational getaway like you would going up to the mountains up there in Sevierville and Pigeon Fords or Gatlinburg. Uh, but you turn off Maple Lane here onto Deer Valley and you're going to go about a mile and a half to a private gate. And you'll enter in, enter in that private gate and go beyond for another two and a half miles to the property. It's a really nice road going in. We've seen many roads like this before, but this is by far probably the better maintained road we've seen from a dirt road. The lowest elevation is about 708 and rises up to about 1759. But this is the gate that you'll actually enter in. You'll stop and enter in your code and go through the gate. The well, the, the property has a well. You have power. It's a $400 maintenance fee every year by all the property owners beyond the gate. You do have some restrictions and the property tax are $250. But for the most part, it's a really good road, but you have do you do have parts that are, are bumpy and rocky. So it's I would advise driving a truck um, to the property, and you probably want to make sure you have one if you buy the property. But you come in on the property, buy that post in power. You've got four miles of power ran to the property, and we recently had a quote to bring power to another property that we've got listed, and it cost about $76,000. So that gives you a good idea of how much is invested in this area here. Now, we're, the way we just came in, that's probably the highest elevation, and this is the pad, and above this pad is the Talladega National Forest from behind. And you can see the pad, so below that pad there is Talladega National Forest, and we're looking over the property. We have a mountain stream on this property, and you need to stay to the end of the video because I'm going to show you what a neighboring property that we sold his property, what he had and done with the property, which I thought was genius to add another recreational aspect to the property. This is the Talladega National Forest sign that you will see, and it's draped across the border as you go along the property. You'll see another one, we'll see that in just a moment. The property well is just below where my truck is, and we're going to see that in a minute, but just what a gorgeous view. One thing you're going to notice, you see a lot of rock, and there's a lot of rock on the property, but the main thing you need to understand, you see a lot of hardwoods. There's not a lot of pines on this property, which is very important from a recreational deer hunting aspect, which this property is covered up with scrapes and rubs, and you're going to see that later in the video in just a moment. In just a second, you're going to see the well. And you could, you could build a cabin where this pad is, or you could build one where you enter, which is the high elevation, but you'll have a lot of rock. This is the well that is on the pad, but we're going to go beyond the pad walking down this trail that, you're, you, that you see. And on this aerial map, in just a second, you're going to see there's a yellow line that continues beyond that pad, and you'll see a blue dot and that's kind of the way that we're walking down to this really pretty open area at the end of that white i mean that yellow dotted line but the national forest continues to border on this side as well it, it borders it the entire 80 acres 
basically and in just a second you're gonna i'm gonna point to a sign in the distance but a lot of deer activity in this area you can see the yellow sign right there that's a continuation of the uh, talladega national forest be sure to like share and subscribe we're always posting videos and thank you for for watching but what a beautiful view that you have here and i thought man this would be a terrific place to put a cabin but also be a terrific place to put a greenfield because there is all kind of activity on this site and this is a scrape and this is just one of many scrapes here but look at this rub and there's a lot of rubs and you got a lot of acorns and this deer again is the deer uh that was killed across uh the mountain from this property that i had sold a few years ago so there's a lot of deer a lot of activity and just take in this view this is just one of three home sites that i, I would say that you could choose from now the well's not down here you'd have to come and, and drill a well there if you wanted to because the well's at the pad but you can see that's the way we entered in off highway 21 by those pines and you can see it on this map too how it's reflected and um but a lot of rock there's a lot a lot of rock walls that you're going to see in just a moment this is the tree that i took a picture of and, and you just saw just moments ago but this area is just real pretty it's really open uh, a lot of rubs and scrapes again i hate to keep repeating that but you just got to see it and you got this uh rock wall and this rock wall is about 10 foot tall i'm about five six and it may be 12 feet tall there but there's multiple and we're going to go down this little red trail down to the stream area that i was telling you about and just hang on with me um you need to see these pictures they're very unique but this little mountain stream that comes through here but the neighboring property that we sold he built him a pond and he stocked it with trout and he'd come up here and and hunt the property and really enjoy it and he had put and he had trout stock and he'd catch his fish and he would he would cook them and eat them and and just i thought that was just a really neat idea but you know it's just got a lot of features on this property it's just really so unique that's another rock wall and it's probably 12 foot tall as well but give me a call if you're really interested we'll be happy to show this property to you and, and you truly would probably have a one-of-a-kind property thanks for watching give me a call